कमला हैरिस वर्सेस डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प कमला हैरिस वर्सेस डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प दे हैव लॉक्ड हॉट इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट इलेक्शन दैट इज गोइंग टू हैपन ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ नवंबर 2024 आई बिलीव इट इज नॉट मोर इट इज नॉट इवन टू मंथ्स फ्रॉम नाउ फिफ्थ ऑफ नवंबर 2024 there will be general election referendum in united states between a candidate from democrat and republican so kamala harris she is representing democrat and mr donald trump is he is rep representing republican so who would win and who would lose that comes to a question mark now how kamala harris would win this election did depends upon the kamala harris her tenure as vice president for past 4 years so most of the most of the thing it depends upon the work what mr joe biden has done so whatever joe biden has done along with kamala harris that work will be now it will be reflected and it will be compared with what mr donald trump has done in his tenure that was from i believe 2017 to 2021 so it is 2017 versus 2021 25 because next president would sit on 25 so if it is election time and it is happening in 5th november then 2021 january till 2000 2017 january to 2020 end and then 2020 1 january to 2024 end whatever is the work that has been done it will be based upon that work that who will who would win who would win that comes under question who has done what so if i see the kamala harris let's see the origin okay so we will talk about the work and future origin kamala harris she is daughter of shyamla devi so shyamla devi she is an indian lady and she is daughter of a civil servant means she is from high family so come shyamla devi so she went to berkeley in california to study i believe medicine and there there she settled and then she married a person from jamaica so kamala harris her father's name is donald harris so her father is donald harris and mother is shyamla devi so she is from jamaican origin and she is from indian origin so from in i don't know jamaican origin much but from indian origin she is aryan means if she is from shyamla devi then she belongs to aryan as per the mother side from father side she is from jamaican origin and religion wise she goes to baptist church in berkeley i believe california mr donald trump he from father side he is german he is from germany and from mother side i believe he is, he is from scotland scottish united kingdom not english scottish so this is his ancestry okay so as far as their ancestry is concerned as far as okay we'll try not to be partial because being an indian everyone will become partial that kamala kamala harris actual her name is kamala devi actual her name is kamala devi harris father's name came into the picture now she became kamala devi harris also now she is known as kamala harris but she is kamala devi later became kamala devi harris and unofficially people also call her kamala harris kamala devi kamala devi had studied mainly his batch his ba from harvard university and i believe donald trump mr donald trump he is bs bachelor in science and he is i believe somewhere near pennsylvania or new york so he is resident of new york whereas kamala devi is resident of california 
that is the difference brother of brother of uh, donald trump he used to be physics scientist physics scientist and now donald trump primarily whereas if we talk about uh, kamala devi then her father and mother both were researcher okay her father was i believe he was doing phd in some some topic and mother was studying further in medicine or some area so for the educational background they look like both are high because if donald trump brother is was a scientist his family educational level is high though donald trump is a is a businessman okay and the kamala harris primarily she is in public service only earlier she was some attorney of uh, of uh, san francisco district then 2017 to 2021 2013 to 2017 she became attorney general of california so she is in public service and then 2017 to 21 she was junior senator so she is from democrat all the way from 21 to 24 november she is vice president so she is all along in democratic system party and always with democratic party whereas mr donald trump is flip flop flip flop miss primarily he is a businessman he is not a politician he is not a public servant he is in business always so i believe 80, 1987 around he joined republican party then he joined some independence party then i think he rejoined republican party or something like that then he joined democratic party democrat so he remained with democrat for some good years we so many times he had changed the party i believe it is i will not return it but so many loop he has taken then again in 2011 or something then he became unaffiliated to any party then again he rejoined republican party and he became president elected president in 2016 means he is tossing the coin as per money he is placing money in republican party he is placing money in independence party he is placing money unaffiliated means some independent then sometime he funded this is a bad word but he funded democrat then he funded republican and at the end because of the funding republican made him candidate for the president and he became president elect in 2016 so looks like mr donald trump has high money power rather than public strength what he should carry while serving the public rather than he served his pocket more this is what it looks like if some if you are making five six party chain at least in united states of country which has very strong pillar of democracy in that system if you are flipping flopping one party to another party this proves that you don't have any ideology means political ideology that is considered as a strong hold of any person that you lose you don't carry like kamala devi or along she is with democrat she is a democrat means she has some ideology through which she is working in her life but mr trump he does not have any public serving ideology this side this side i think four party he kept on kept on changing here there here there he started with republican and ended up in the republican i am thankful to the republican party that they made him candidate for the president third time this time third time at least i have never heard any person who is candidate of republican or democrat as far as president election is considered third time means he has big money power and this much he is donating to a party that party is giving him sign of please become president so money strength of the donald trump and public service strength of kamala devi now they are contesting with each other if kamala devi wins this election not winning the election if i there are other people they are also contesting uh, presidential election the independent people they can also contest 
and Kamla Devi is one of only one candidate I am seeing at least who is candidate from Republic on Democrat to leading party which has no origin in England. Whatever the even Barack Obama mother was from United Kingdom side, even Barack Obama was, and then Bill Clinton and George Bush and then Mr. Trump, everyone has lineage in United Kingdom. So, American president, I don't know, past also, but all of them are from United Kingdom only. If someone would be from Europe somewhere, I don't know. But as far as I know, it is a show of United Kingdom. So people from United Kingdom, they are only becoming president of America. But first time Kamala Devi, neither from mother side nor from father side, she has any lineage from United Kingdom nor from Europe. One is from Jamaica and one is from one side from India. So this is something that is, looks like she is very powerful. With this much confidence, courage that you are making, that to your mother and father both went to United States, they are not from the fourth generation, ten generation, they are in United. And then not from United Kingdom side, then you are something with very powerful heart. This is what I believe so. So Kamla Devi, Kamla Devi, a normal lady, I would say normal lady, her mother is normal. Her father is a professor, normal, not high monetary strength. Now she is contesting with a kind of tycoon. Tycoon is a word I can say because very rich. Mr. Donald Trump, business wise, he is very rich. So money is the power of Trump. He always concentrated in his life. I am not going in personal life. Where she is married and where he is married. I think this is not the place we talk about personal life and place finger on someone. But professional life and lineage we can talk about. So Mr. Trump is contesting again on the name of money because that money is the factor that is consistent. Somewhere you will be consistent in your life, right? So money is the way where Mr. Trump is consistent, whereas public service is way where Madam Devi is the consistent. So Trump changing party here and there, wherever he felt here, his business would grow. That's how he kept changing. Now it is up to the people in the United States that who they select. Either they want a person who is not a genuine public servant or a person who is genuine public servant. What they want. It is up to them. Now as far as work is concerned, Joe Biden has high inclination for the people as far as Ukraine is concerned, the way Joe Biden supported Ukraine and Ukraine is still standing because Russia is so powerful, it would not have taken one month time also to capture full Ukraine. But if Ukraine as a country it is sustaining, it is because of Joe Biden and United States. So the way Joe Biden did for the Ukraine means the way his foreign policies were then it gives him a big weight as far as Donald Trump. Donald Trump only talks about the United Ukraine. I believe in 2021, Russia he put Russia put army in Ukraine, and Donald Trump was found saying, "If I was president, then Russia would not have dared to enter into Ukraine." You were president prior to that one, 2017-2021 era. Because of your lenient presidency only, the nothing comes in one day. If Russia put army inside Ukraine, Russia would be thinking for years. Then only at the end it tried to enter the army into Ukraine. At that period, Mr. Trump was president of United Kingdom. This proves that Russia completely understood the United Kingdom cannot do anything. Now, Mr. Trump is shouting that, Ah, because if I was president, I would, because you were president, then only they could muster the confidence to enter into Ukraine. Now, Mr. Joe Biden, he is, he is kind of, he halted, at least he halted Russia to make a kind of sweep in the Ukraine. So, if 
Mr. Trump comes into the picture, then the situation of Ukraine will be bleak. This is what everyone would consider. Now, it is kind of United States people, what you want? You want a businessman, you want a businessman whose main focus is earning money or you want a you want a civil servant you want a, a public servant who will serve you kamla devi versus donald trump now people from there are many things that we will discuss that what donald trump has done many things he has done he is not he was not silent for the four years and of this four years he has done lot of things okay so United States people, what kind of life you want? You want life that will be a turmoil, again turmoil, four year, 2016 to 2020, anyway your life will be a turmoil. You want to regain that turmoil life? What is your, what is, is your thinking? Now you have to decide.